Hey everyone, it is Graham here from the Cycle Gym again today. So I apologise, this is pre-recorded because I am travelling. Um, I've managed to uh, write my email, but this one is pre-recorded, so I apologise for that. But I'm in Ireland today and I have had to travel here. I've had to get up dead early in the morning and I'm just very lucky that there isn't an event on this weekend. So um, travel can really play a big part in, in what happens when you get to your event because it can either lead to fatigue or it can psychologically um, sort of get on there, get in, into you and, and, and it can it can actually affect your event. So I just wanted to go over some top tips in what to do when you need to travel to an event. So Number one, try and sleep in line with the times that the country you are visiting. I know that's sometimes easier said than done, but try and match up your, your sleep patterns with that. So if you're going an hour ahead, try and get to bed an hour ahead so that it just kind of it starts to get in line with, with what you're going to be doing over in that other country. Uh, if the event is abroad, try and arrive a couple days before or in advance just to adjust that body clock. If you get there literally like a day before, you can still be tired and fatigued and uh, it can wreak havoc on your event. So arrive in plenty of time, get prepared, register, get all those things done. Research what the weather will be like to determine your hydration, nutrition and clothing strategies. You must stay hydrated at all times. Drink lots of water and eat lots of vegetables to maintain that hydration. So don't eat lots of crappy stuff on the plane. Make sure that you're getting lots and lots of water and stay hydrated. Okay, so try and maintain a neck position that co that doesn't cause tightness. This is just one, so when you're in a car, you can literally flop over like this. If you're in a plane, you can go like this. Uh, and it can just tighten up the neck muscles and that can uh, that can... Just tighten up a few things in and around this area, and uh, and just cause you an uncomfortable an uncomfortableness um, when when you start taking part in your event. So just a little one, weird one, but I like to think that it's quite useful. Um, try and get a, try and to get a massage or a foam roller to loosen off the muscles once you get to your um, to your place of arrival, um, just to get some blood flowing and to get your muscles relaxed. Um, Bring a book to read to help you get to sleep if you suffer from jet lag. It's always a good one. I like that one. So make sure you get your bike serviced and looked at before you go. Very important. You might not have time when you get there to get your bike looked at, so make sure that it's in tip-top condition when you get there so you don't get any punctures or any uh, kind of issues with your, with your bike when you're out racing. Also, have a checklist before you go of what... Um, to help you keep focused and don't lose sight of what you're doing and what, where you're supposed to be. So tick everything off, always plan. Fail to plan, plan to fail, I think is the term that people use. So, um, a really weird one, if you're coming from high altitude down to sea level, try and actually leave as late as possible um, and get there as late as you can because then the uh, increase of red blood cells will help you uh, increase the amount of oxygen that you're able to get into your body so always quite good that's why a lot of people do the the high altitude training is to come in with lots of high red, lots of red blood cells and uh, and it helps them improve their performance when they're when they're doing their event so that's my top tip uh, if you look at uh, the, if you get the email check out the infographic below which just shows a really cool way to to travel uh, or what to do when you go traveling so i'm graham have a great weekend and that uh, we'll see you soon oh but to say if you want to subscribe just click on this button here if you want to watch another video you can see it here like share comment love to hear your thoughts see you soon